morning, ICC. We are very thankful that you have gotten time to join us in our prayer and devotion. Welcome to uh, today's prayer and devotion. It is August month in ICC Kitengela, and this is a time when we have a family month. And on this particular week, the men shall be leading us in our prayer and devotion. So brace yourself, prepare yourself spiritually, and welcome to today's prayer and devotion. During this week, our men shall lead us in about six to seven theme areas, which include leadership and responsibility, marital relationships, parenting and guidance, financial provision, purpose and calling, healing and forgiveness, and finally, wisdom and discernment. Our anchor scripture is drawn from Luke 18 verse 1, and it reads, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. This is a simple reminder as Christians that in prayer, that is how we keep our connection with God. That is where we put our supplications. That is where we give our thanksgiving. That is how we express our worship to God. And this is a line that should be constantly open. And in Luke, we are being reminded that we should not cease to pray. On to today's theme um, of the day, which is leadership and responsibility. And we are going to draw our anchor scripture from Ephesians 5.23, which reads, For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior. In this simple verse, we are being reminded that the husband is likened to the unique character of Christ's leadership over the church. As a leader of the church, Christ gave himself up for her. And we all agree that there cannot be greater love than that of Christ, than, the, than that of which Christ showed for the church. He actually made the ultimate sacrifice to lay his life for the sake of the church, for the salvation of the church, for the redemption of the church. And so as husband and wife, as we both give ourselves up to each other, in doing this, our marriages will be deemed godly and beautiful and will be avenues for God to pour his blessings and love upon the marriages as Christ uh, did for the church. And finally, as Christ the head brings to completion the church, which is a body as a unified whole, the husband also brings to completion the union of the husband and the wife through his love that he shows to the wife and vice versa. Thank you very much and we ask that you join us in prayer for marriages. A gracious and loving Father, we come before your presence this morning. As we start this week, Father, we invite your Holy Spirit to guide us in everything that we do. Bless our going out and our coming in. Bless the works of our hands. Bless those that are called of, of us in our families. Bless our spouses. Bless our children. Bless our homesteads. Bless those in our midst, Father, who are seeking your face for many, many, many things, Father. Those who are seeking your face, Father, for help, come through for them. Those who are seeking your face, Father, for healing, come through for them. Those who are seeking your face for guidance and direction, Father, give them a sign and show them where to go. Those who are seeking for open doors, Father, lead them to where they need to go and knock. We thank you, Father, for this morning, this new week that we are starting. And as we start this new week, we ask, Father, that uh, you remember a special uh, people in our lives, especially for those who are married, our spouses. We pray for our spouses. We pray, Father, that we sh you shall bless our relationships. We shall bless our marriages. You shall sanctify our marriages and our marriages shall bring glory and honor to your, to your name. Father, in ICC Kitangela, there are many marriages. There are marriages that are young and blooming. There are marriages that are maturing. Um, there are marriages, Father, that are matured. There are marriages, Father, that are uh, in different stages of, of, of marriage. Some are struggling, Father, some are uh, taking off, some are uh, looking up to making good plans, some are looking up to you, Father, even for interventions and breakthroughs. All of these marriages, Father, belong to you. They are all under your house and you know them best even before they are presented to you in prayer. We pray, Father, that you're going to come through for individuals in this marriage. We're going to come through for couples in this marriage. And the unity of purpose that you have uh, curated for marriages as espoused by, uh, in, at the Garden of Eden shall be displayed in ICC. 
there are those marriages, Father, that are struggling. We pray, Father, for your intervention in those marriages. Father, may you silence the sounds of the devil, Father, that you shall come through for them and they shall walk together as you already purposed. We pray, Father, for unity of purpose, even where there is difference of opinion um, and where there, is uh, where there is disagreement. Father, we pray that even in those disagreements and differences of opinion, there shall be a unity of purpose and that marriages and couples shall walk together in unison and, in, uh, and that your will shall be done in those marriages. It is not a coincidence, Father, that you paired uh, these two people together and we speak against uh, things, Father, that pull them apart. We speak against divorce, we speak against separation, we speak against the spirit, Father, that seeks to divide uh, and so discord in marriages, Father. We thank you, even as we start this week, that marriages in ICC shall be refreshed and they, that they shall experience a, a new beginning because, Father, marriages shall look up to you. We pray for marital beds, Father, that blessings shall abound in marriages and out of marriages. We pray for the blessings of the womb, Father. We pray, Father, for couples, um, who are going out to uh, to fend for their families. Father, you shall enable them to fend for their families and they shall come back with plentiful in their bounties, Father. We thank you and we lift you. We pray for the leadership of ICC, even as they shepherd your people, that they shall continue to guide us in a proper way and you shall continue to illuminate them and more importantly, give them strength to come back to us each and every day, Father, to guide us to give unto us and to feed that which you have a purpose for your people to be fed upon. We speak a special blessing upon the marriages of ICC and this country, Father, that we shall not hear statistics um, that speak against this institution because this institution is yours and your will will be done and your will is to prosper people and to bring the best out of the marriages. We speak we speak healing, we speak blessing, Father, we speak guidance and we pray, Father, that all the marriages in ICC shall be blessed. We pray this, believing and trusting in Jesus' mighty name as we invite you into the week. Amen. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. God bless your going out and your coming in. Thank you.